The Shining is her favourite film of all time. Kim must have watched it over 30 times, and as far as she was concerned, no other horror film came close to being so disturbing. The ingredient in the film that she was obsessed with wasn't Jack Nicholson's chilling performance or the disturbing music score, and it wasn't the film's immersive experience and that slow pace known of Stanley Kubrick's work. It was her fear and love of corridors, especially ones in old schools and hotels. And she believed nothing could be worse than a possessed Jack Torrance limping after you down a long corridor. That's her biggest fear. Her ultimate horror fantasy that she wanted to stay as a fantasy. Her imagination made an old classic horror film resonate throughout her life. She'd spend hours online exploring hotel websites and looking at their corridors and researching anything interesting about The Shining. Yeah, she had far too much time on her hands, but she had no children or lover. Her parents left her enough money so that she'd never worry again, and Kim loved spending it on hotels. Every Friday evening she would talk to the dead when she attended the local spiritualist church. It was such a welcoming place where she could take a break from her real life. Her parents in the spirit world would always come and tell her that they're fine and that they love her so much. Kim researched and found the perfect hotel and booked to stay there for a few nights and this hotel was located in the middle of nowhere. Kim read a review from her father that stayed with his family and the place seemed to make any issues between him and his wife become worse to the point that they separated. His review went on to say that the place reeked with bad luck. Kim was so curious and excited. At the spiritualist church the evening before she drove to the hotel, the medium had just one message from her mother. The medium said, Your mother wants me to shout at you and say, Don't go there, stay at home. Kim was shocked. She left the church shaking, but she was so stubborn. She still drove for hours the next day to the mysterious hotel. When she arrived at the huge, stunning modern building, she connected with its strong industrial personality. Lots of concrete, thick glass and metal and most importantly very long corridors with red carpet black walls with large painted white arrows pointing to where the stairs and elevators are located Kim immediately fell in love with this place and she quickly fell into deep sleep land on that first night In the morning she jumped out of bed to answer the knock on her door. Hotel breakfast in bed is the best. Before opening the door Kim looked through the wide angle door viewer and she recognised the person standing outside. She saw two people she recognised, then another. She actually saw Jack Nicholson from The Shining standing outside her door and behind him was another Jack Nicholson. Kim slapped herself to wake up. She was awake. There was a crowd outside her door of Jack Nicholson's. They were all whispering, Here's Johnny. 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 Kim stepped away from her door, then stopped. She was wearing her white hotel dressing gown. The mutterings and shufflings outside in the corridor stopped. There was a silence. Kim thought, what the fuck just happened? She unlocked, then opened the door. Outside was just a long, empty corridor. She looked right, no bodies there. She turned and looked to her left and there was a crowd of about 20 men with their backs facing Kim 
and then they slowly turned around like a well-rehearsed dance group. They were 20 Jack Torrances, all looking exactly like Jack Nicholson from The Shining. Kim heard their whispering. I'm not gonna hurt you. 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 The Jacks all started to limp slowly towards Kim. She then noticed they were all holding on to axes. Twenty axes. They were shuffling, slow at first, then faster. Kim moved back into her hotel room. She closed the door and she couldn't think what to do. Common sense wouldn't kick in. Her fantasy is real and happening now. Suddenly the knocking on the door was more angry this time. They were mumbling something else outside. Little pigs. Little pigs. Little pigs. Little pigs. Little pigs. Then as Kim expected, the axes started smashing into the door. The banging sound was absolutely terrifying. It didn't take the jacks long to kick down the thick wooden door. If Kim tried to scream, no sound would come out of her mouth. The trauma of what was happening cut off any instinct to survive. She was frozen to the spot. The twenty jacks took turns in slashing and axing her into pieces, mumbling, How do you like it? 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 After the axe frenzy, all twenty jacks walked out of the bloody hotel room, moving slowly down the corridor to wherever the hell they came from. All that could be recognised in the heap of cut bone, blood and scattered flesh would be the upper half of Kim's head. Kim's now in spirit world, ignoring comfort from her sad parents. Even in death she's still frozen to the spot, unable to scream. 